Happy Tuesday. How you doing today, huh? Hey, I want to talk to you today about four easy ways to receive from God. How many of you know I am all about receiving from God? I'm all about results. How to get what God has promised. There's a big difference between owning something and possessing it. We own the promises of God, but we have to learn to possess them, to learn to get a hold of them, amen, to have them working in our lives. I'm going to show you how to do that today. This is so good, so good. On this happy Tuesday, say this with me, the rest of my life is the best of my life, and the best of my life is the rest of my life. Today is a great day to have a great day. Amen. Somebody said that to me the other day. You know who you are. It's a great day for a great day. Amen. I think that's what she said. Hallelujah. Say this with me. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything I do works out. Everything works out for me. I have all my needs met. I am blessed. Amen. Start talking like that. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Actually, the best prayer partner in the whole country. Consider partnering, partnering with this ministry. I believe when you partner with a ministry, you should have access to the minister. Amen. All of our partners are actually what I call prayer partners. You become a prayer partner when you become a prayer partner, uh, when you become a partner with this ministry. Amen. You help us send this message around the world. It's going all over the world. People call for prayer. This is a, the most wonderful prayer ministry in the country because the minister actually answers the phone. When you call, I answer the phone. And when, when you do, I want to make sure you live a curse-free, blessed life. Once you partner with this ministry, your success and your health becomes my responsibility. And I take it very seriously. Amen. Make sure you call me today if you need prayers answered. If you uh, do your offerings and donations today, or if you did them during the night, like a lot of you did. There was a lot of donations came in over the night, overnight. Don't you people ever sleep? You must be up watching videos all night long. I praise God for you. We have such a wonderful family. We have a great church family here in Melbourne, Florida. And we also have a great family of partners. I love my partners. Amen. I tell them that. I tell them, that. they tell me all the time. If you love somebody, tell them. I love the sound of your voice. People call me and say, Pastor Jim, I hate to bother you. No, when you call me, it's no bother. Actually, you're doing me a favor because I love to pray with God's people. And I get praise reports all the time. Got another praise report yesterday from somebody who is looking for a husband met a wonderful person. Glory to God. Now, this is what we do. We make things like this happen. You, you know, if you're single and you want to be married, you know God wants you to have somebody. But receiving that person is a whole different deal. I help you make that happen. Amen. I want to talk to you today about four easy ways to receive from God. Four easy ways. And our partners are doing this. Amen. Hallelujah. Four easy ways. Share this video with everybody you know. On Facebook, you know how to share it. If, if, you, if you're not watching on Facebook and you're watching these on YouTube, which most of you do, then just uh, send everybody in your contact list or maybe five or ten people at a time. Some people are sharing it with a lot of people every day. You probably got a thousand people in your contact list. If you're like me, I've got like 
three or 4,000 people in my contact list. And uh, so go through that list and text these people. You know how to do that. And tell them, YouTube, Pastor Jim Kibler, you've got to watch these videos. That is how you become an evangelist. You evangelize this, uh, these videos. Spread them around. You change lives when you do that. The number one easy way and the most important thing that you need to do to receive from God is to break the curse of the law. Now, this is a secret. If you're new to this ministry and you're just starting to watch these videos, I'm telling you something you very well may not know. Now, people who have been watching these videos for a while, you know this. You know that the curse of the law has to be broken. Now, in Galatians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14, it says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, so that the blessing of Abraham can or might come on the Gentiles. The curse must be broken before the blessing can come on you. And this is a secret that nobody else ever figured out that I know of. I hunted all over because when I was seeking the blessing of God, I, I read every book, the blessing, the blessing, I get this, this, the blessing, the, that every article, everything. People, I listened to people preach for hours, hundreds of hours, actually, about the blessing. And nobody ever said, the curse has to be broken. You know how I found that out? The Lord had to speak to me and tell me. He had to speak it to me. And even he wouldn't tell me directly. He gave me the verses for it. He gave me the verses for it. Mark, Mark 16, verse 17. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. Then he gave me another verse. Acts 10, 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil. And I put that together with Deuteron Deuteronomy 28, 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropes in darkness, and thou shalt be only, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, but thou shalt be only oppressed. And, and I knew if it's oppression of the devil, it's subject to the name of Jesus. And I broke the curse. And my whole life changed. And then I found out a few weeks later, I watched one of Kenneth Copeland's old videos, and he said he did the same thing. He said, curse, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. And his whole life changed. Once the curse of the law is broken, now I know Christ redeemed us, and a lot of people say Christians can't be cursed, but that's wrong. Look around you. Read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68, and then look around at all the sick and broke Christians. And I'm telling you, the curse of the law is working in their life. Once that curse is broken, they get healed and the blessing flows. That's number two. The blessing must be spoken. It must be voice activated. God gave us the word for word blessing to activate that. In Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 through 27, God said, this is how I want you to do it. Word for word. I've never heard anybody else ever say it has to be word for word. But you read that, and you will see God said, this is how I want you to do it. And then he gave it to him word for word. So I say, it has to be word for word. 
So the curse has to be broken. The blessing has to be spoken. Look what happened to Jacob when his father spoke the blessing over him. If you don't have a father to speak the blessing over you, the pastor you or the minister you partner with or your own pastor can speak that blessing over you. If the curse is broken. If the curse isn't broken, it's not going to do you any good because the curse will block the blessing. Amen. Number three, after the curse is broken and the blessing spoken, seek the kingdom of God. Now, you have to have the curse broken and the blessing spoken before you seek the kingdom of God, because if you don't, the curse will block everything you try to receive from God. The, you know, Matthew uh, 6.33 says, Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything will be added to you. Everything will be given. Well, everything cannot be given to you if the curse is blocking it. That verse assumes that the curse is broken and the blessing is spoken. Everything in the New Testament, everything in the Old Testament assumes that you are curse-free and blessed. God takes pleasure in your prosperity. You're not going to be prosperous if the curse of the law is working in your life. God gives us power to get wealth. You're not going to, you, this power can't flow into your life if the curse is there blocking it. The curse is the blessing blocker. Once that curse is broken, everything flows in Matthew 6.33 works and God and everything flows into your life. Amen. Paul said to the uh, Philippians, but my God shall supply all of your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You're not going to get your needs met, folks, unless you've got tremendous faith, unless the curse is broken. Now, we used to use our faith every month just to barely scrape up enough money to pay our bills. Every month we did that. But once the curse was broken, we didn't have to use our faith every month anymore because God supplied all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Then, when we seek the first kingdom of God and his righteousness, everything we need is given to us. Then, the power to get wealth, that force that causes you to attract good things and wealth, flows in your life. Glory to God. That's three. Break the curse, speak the blessing, seek the kingdom. And number four, call me. I can make it happen in your life for you. I can do all those things for you. I will break the curse in your life, speak the blessing over your life, and uh, tell you to seek the kingdom, and I will speak this good stuff into your life just like Eli did for Hannah. The minister that you partner with has the authority to speak over your life. Good things, not bad things, good things over your life. And when you call me, you are giving me the authority to speak over your life. Just like Eli spoke over Hannah. And I take it very seriously. I speak healing. People get healed of every kind of... we You wouldn't believe how many people got healed of this coronavirus. Some of them were... Several of them were dying. And they, they put the phones next to these dying people in the hospital. And I spoke healing over them and they got healed. But I broke the curse too. Amen. So call me. Call me to speak that blessing over you. And to break the curse of the law in your life. Because I am totally committed to your success and to your health. And I'm determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. Call me today if you need prayer. Call me today when you do your offerings and donations. And I, when you call, I am going to make sure you have no curses in your life. And I'm going to speak the blessing over you. Because I am determined you are going to live a blessed life.